Welcome back to Millennial Fashionista TV. I'm doing something that I've never done before here on my channel and it's a full face of purely drugstore makeup products. I mean, I've used them here and there, but I'm such a bougie, bougie gal that I never really just go full on drugstore, but it's been so requested. And your wish is my command. So today we're doing it. It's going to be more of an everyday look. While artistry is amazing and there's some really cool creations out there, your everyday girl is looking for something easy, quick, and wearable so that's what we're gonna do it's going to be a very neutral look and I'm excited to create it so let's go ahead and get started first product I'm using is the pixie glow tonic I've loved this ever since they sent it to me I've heard really great things about it it's super popular and it's gotten great reviews and honestly it's a great first step in your makeup so I do this right before I moisturize and right after I do my cleansing routine and I started with a clean face I exfoliated this morning and all that jazz so now we're just using this tonic all over it says it gently exfoliates and brightens revealing healthy glowing skin and that is what we want healthy glowing skin next I'm using this rose ceramide cream and this is an ultra rich moisture cream it's a great moisturizer it's not like super goopy but it does a great job I'm moisturizing and I have combination and oily dry skin depending on the seasons more oily in the summer more dry in the winter next step is primer and i'm using this covergirl true blend base business and it helps control oily looking shine so it's a mattifying primer and i think this will be great because the foundation i'm using is actually a natural dewy finish so i think it'll be great to counteract some of that dewiness and you always want to make sure you press your primer into your pores I noticed that a lot of people just swipe it on but the point is that you want it to get into those pores and to really absorb into the face and you're really getting in there and getting the job done rather than swiping it on the surface and it's not getting where it needs to be for foundation because I was just sent this by CoverGirl and I've used it a few times and love it for every day. I think it's a great light to medium finish foundation. I'm using this clean, fresh skin milk. It's clean makeup and it provides all day moisture and it doesn't dry you out. So I'm using that today, but I did wanna highlight another CoverGirl foundation, which is really awesome. It's more of a matte foundation. However, this, this does not fall under this clean makeup category. And that's the CoverGirl True Blend. This is a great foundation if you're trying to do like a matte all day, long lasting foundation. But like I said, we're not using that, although I love it. We're using this other one. And this is for my everyday girls. And I'm in the shade 510 Porcelain, which is actually their lightest shade. I'm gonna go in with my fingers to begin with, and then I'm gonna buff it out with my beauty sponge, only because I don't want my beauty sponge to suck in too much product, since it's already a light to medium finish foundation. I changed my mind. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender because this is just getting a little messy. I should have done a little at a time. As you can see, it's a very natural foundation. Basically blurred everything out and added a little bit of tint to the face. But other than that, it's not gonna be full coverage mattifying foundation. That's what I mean when I say it's a great everyday foundation because it's light. It won't clog those pores. So now, sticking with CoverGirl, 
I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And that's what this is. And it is in the shade L200 Light Ivory. And this concealer is going to do and cover what the foundation didn't. We can see this is adding a little bit more coverage under the eye, especially in this porous region down here. And we're adding some brightness to really open up those eyes and make it where we don't look so tired, huh? Another thing that CoverGirl sent me with that clean foundation are these cream blushes. And this is in the shade Sweet Innocence. How sweet. Number 330. And I'm a huge fan of cream and liquid blushes because I feel like they last quite a bit longer than powder blushes. It's even better if you layer a powder blush on top of the cream or liquid blush. So I just added a little bit to my hand and how I'm gonna apply this is take my beauty sponge and just dab it in there, but don't put this entire glob on your face, kind of spread it around your hand like that. So you get some of that product out and then you can go in and apply it, but it's a lot easier to go in and build it rather than go in with a lot and then not knowing what to do with it. I just want like a light blushing bride kind of color to my cheeks because like I said this is an everyday look so we don't want to overdo anything. For powder I'm using the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder and this is in the shade Light and I have actually never used this before. This will be a first time for me so I'm slightly scared. So I'm gonna make sure I have increased and then I'm gonna go in with it. I'm gonna squeeze my sponge like this and really kind of pack that product in there. Press it in. Then I'm gonna puff out my cheeks and really get into those smile lines so we don't have any creasing. I'm just gonna apply it all over the face to make sure our makeup stays put all day. I'm gonna take a brush and wipe away any excess powder I may have. And now it's time for bronzer. And I'm using the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder and this is in the shade Sunlight. And I'm just, I'm not really contouring much Today I'm just gonna add some color to my face really. This is the perfect shade right now since I don't have on any self tanner and I'm pretty pale. I am however going to contour my nose and I think that this would be a perfect contour shade because it is on the cooler side rather than the warmer side. In order to take down the contour, I'm just going to pat it with my beauty sponge. Now on to highlight, I'm using the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow. And this is in the shade Pro Crush. It's a very pretty shade. Mm. And for nose, I do my typical exclamation point. 
Now for eyes, I'm using a really pretty palette. It's the City Mini Palette by Maybelline. And it, these are the Chill Brunch Neutrals. And this is what they look like. You've got some pretty shimmers in there as well as a couple satin shades and then I can't tell if the really light color is satin or matte but that's the one I'm going in to kind of prime my lid for the other shades. Just beware there is quite a bit of fallout here so when I tap my brush a lot falls out of the brush so I'm gonna have to be very careful when I'm doing I don't know if the rest of the palette is like that but I've already done my face makeup, so I don't want to ruin everything I just did due to fallout. It's like flying, wow. In all honesty, most of the time there is obviously a quality difference between drugstore and other makeup. Not all of it is like that, but this is obviously not pressed very well okay i think i've primed enough i've kind of <coughs> set the stage for the other shades then i'm gonna go in with this color right here in the crease as my transition shade okay so this one is not falling out as much i don't know what was happening there That was crazy. It's a very pretty kind of purpley, lilac-y gray. And I'm just going in my crease with it. Now in my outer V, I'm gonna go in with this purple shade right here just to darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna take some of that purple shade down on the lower lash line as well. Just to add a little bit of shadow and color down there. And purple really works for brown eyes. It brings out those beautiful brown eyes. So if you have brown eyes, purple is a great everyday shade. I know you don't usually think about it that way. It's almost like a neutral for brown eyes. And I should wear it more often myself. A great combination with purple shadows is a gold tinted shimmer. So I'm gonna use this one right here. I have even more golden ones, but I think this is perfect for every day. And I usually just like to use my fingers to apply these really shimmery shades. I just find that application is a lot easier and a lot better, and I don't waste product on the brush. We're almost done. For mascara, I'm using the Ramel Scandalize Volume On Demand. And I have lash extensions on, so I'm mainly focusing this on my bottom lashes. If I didn't have lash extensions on, my absolute go-to Drugstore lashes are the Ardell Wispies or Demi Wispies if you want a shorter, less full lash. But man, the Wispies are my absolute jam. They're one of my favorites, whether drugstore or not. They're just a good lash. They look so good on so many people and so many different eye shapes. One thing I have to say, Rimmel does a really good mascara. I used to use these in high school a lot. And now for eyebrows, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator. And this is in the shade Blonde, I believe. I'm just gonna comb them out. I like how thick this is. I feel like I have a good grasp on it. 
and I'm just following the natural line of my lashes. I don't have clear brow gel in drugstore makeup, so I'm going to use the Sephora clear brow gel. It's the Sephora collection brand, and this stuff is $12, so it's basically drugstore prices at Sephora. So it's still within the spirit of the theme of drugstore makeup, right? Drugstore prices, isn't that the point? Okay, lipstick. What do I want to do? <laughs> For lip, I'm using the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Forever. And I've had this for a while. Mm, it smells so good. I think it's a perfect everyday color. Honestly, I really like this shade and it's super uber moisturizing. Like it's not a liquid lipstick, so it's not gonna have that stay power. But man, does it moisturize those lips. And we know we need that during the winter. I'm gonna set everything with the Pixi Glow Mist. Love this baby. Shake it up because the oil tends to go to the top and separate. So you wanna make sure you shake up the product. And now I'm just gonna use my Amazon fan to make sure everything dries very quickly. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this everyday drugstore makeup tutorial. I enjoyed creating it per usual. I love makeup and it was actually fun to get to try new products that I don't usually pick up. If you guys haven't already done so, this is my little reminder to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. Until next time, kisses, besos, pupich. Don't let me, don't let me down, down.